Does Prince Harry actually hate Meghan Markle's new Instagram brand, American Riviera Orchard? It's not looking good, you guys. Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to another Dust Daily Nerd, where I break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much got me eye, and oh my goodness. Yeah, let's jump into this madness, shall we? Because reports are coming in that Hazard is apparently uncomfortable with a major aspect of Megs's new business. American Riviera Orchard. Now, this is all according to royal expert Tom Quinn. And he told the Mirror that whilst Hazza fully supports Megzi, there's one part he's not quite sure about. So I'm wondering, with all this being said, does Hazza actually hate Megzi's new brand? Sure looks that way to me. Um, as Tom Quinn claims, quote, Harry thinks the new brand is a great idea because it's Megan's idea is still so loved up that she can do no wrong in his eyes. But we have to remember that he grew up in a family that would have looked down on this kind of commercial enterprise. So there's a part of Harry that's uncomfortable, which is why we are unlikely to see Harry personally baking cakes or demonstrating kitchen utensils. So he might have his rose-coloured glasses on when it comes to Megzi, but like that proper, like deep down internal hazard of his, I don't think likes Megzi's new brand. I think absolutely hates it because as Tom Quinn says here, he grew up in a family that would have looked down on this kind of commercial enterprise. It would be beneath them. It would be tacky. It would be hated, right, guys? Now, the Duchess of Sussex, Megzi, uh, was accused of actually using Princess Diana's legacy because she launched it on the same day of the Diana Award ceremony, which I actually discussed on this channel a few weeks back. And so Tom Quinn says... It's really significant that Megan's new American Riviera Orchard brand was launched on the same day as the Diana Award. Megan has always seen herself as Diana's heir. She sees herself as suffering because of the media just as she feels Diana suffered. But on this side of the pond, at least, there'll be a huge amount of criticism that she's just trying to cash in on Diana's legacy. Now, yeah, I totally agree with all of that. But question for all of you guys. Does Prince Harry also potentially hate Megzi? for literally launching this brand on the same day as the Diana Awards, his mother's awards. It's not really great timing, is it? Now, I had mentioned uh, in last week's first episode of the new series, Meghan Markle versus uh, Sharon Osborne actually had something to say about this launch of American Riviera Orchard. So I'm going to remind you guys of this little tidbit right here. Talking about Meghan Markle. <laughs> has, a, yeah. has America come to the point where they are just sick of the Sussexes now? Um, I, listen, I think so. I think that, you know, they've tried so many different things, you know, a production deal, um, their podcast, now they're flogging household stuff. I mean, what else are they going to do? They've <laughs> tried a bit of everything and nothing's worked so far. So this is where we're at at this point. Not only are we at a point where... Prince Hazard may actually hate Megs's new brand. But as Sharon Osborne has also just said there, uh, yeah, America's sick and tired of her. And Hazard as well. So launching this brand, you think that's going to change Americans' minds? I don't think so, you guys. I really, really don't. Now, she is not capable of learning her lessons as her popularity in America, the UK, and as far as I can tell, the rest of the world actually continues to plummet. As I've been mentioning all throughout my videos here, every single time Megzi does something, her popularity is going further down. 
It's going the wrong way for her. She cannot do right at all. She's always failing. And this is what Lady C has gathered as well. Um, and she's saying here she's not capable of learning lessons. Uh, speaking on GB News America, Lady C said that Megan is failing to learn from her errors and blames everyone else for them. Of course she would as a narcissist, right, guys? Uh, she added that she's been told that Megzi feels enraged due to her continued failures. Uh, she continues saying, I've been told that she is enraged because no matter what she does, it flops. And no matter what Catherine does, it succeeds. Well, I would say, okay, <laughs> for Megzi, a little bit of a tip. Stop bashing the royal family. Stop trying to one-up on them. Stop trying to attack the royal family. You bash and attack the royal family. You bash and attack, and as far as I'm concerned, the UK, our British identity, our British culture. It ain't going to be winning many people over bashing the royal family. It hasn't done. As a popularity, it continues to plummet and plummet and plummet with every move that she makes. She needs to do, as far as I'm concerned, a mea culpa. She needs to turn around and admit, yeah, I did wrong. I shouldn't have treated the royal family, at least publicly, you know, the way that she's done. Kind of know what she did wrong. And then afterwards, apologize and say, okay, this is how I'm going to be a better person. This is how I'm going to change in the future, right? And then do it, right? But you know what? I don't think I'm going to be holding my breath for that kind of situation and scenario, would you? I don't think so. So, really, business as usual, right? Megzi tries to relaunch herself in various ways and they continue to fail because, as far as I'm concerned, she's an absolute cowbag and that's that, right? Uh, so, yeah, she'll continue to flop where Princess Catherine continues to succeed. Uh, Lady C then turns around and says, that's infuriating for her. Meghan came into the royal family with the expectation that she'd be able to milk them as if they were fatted calf and that she was going to be able to end up having a billionaire lifestyle. Uh, adding that she's a, she has a billionaire lifestyle without the money. They're quickly running into serious problems financially. Every deal collapses and all these phantasmagoric figures that they were bandying about will never reach their bank account. She's not capable of learning a lesson, which is tragic, because for all her personal character and personality flaws, she would have now been the most popular human being on earth. Catherine wouldn't be. And Lady C is right, because when Megsy started in the royal family, we celebrated her. She had all the positive press in the world. Megs is the one that screwed it up. She can't blame anyone else but herself. Every single failed venture that has happened since leaving the royal family. She can't blame anyone else, as far as I'm concerned, but herself. It is as simple as that. So, not only are we seeing a situation where the public, it seems is not liking Megzi and her rebranding, in this instance, the American River Orchard situation. But, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, Hazard is not too happy with the brand as well. Does he actually hate it? I would say so. With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, of course there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our Altenair tribe. I'll be honest with you, help us get to a million subscribers so we can get that gold play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about Megzi's American Riviera Orchard freaking can't even say it right because it's so freaking long brand <laughs> then make sure you send me your super thanks it's just below this video right here you can't have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me and until the next time you guys laters